Hello Explorers! Welcome back to another exciting video and thanks for watching. As you already know, it's always a pleasure presenting to you some interesting but less unknown facts about the beautiful countries on the African continent. In today's video, we're shining the light on one of the oldest countries on the African continent, Ethiopia. The name Ethiopia, formerly known as Abyssinia, comes from two Greek words, Aistos and Ops, meaning burnt faces. Ethiopia's unique mix of fascinating history, deep-rooted identity, incredible natural wonders and rare wildlife makes it one of the most intriguing places on earth. Officially referred to as the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia, Ethiopia is located in the northeastern part of Africa, known as the Horn of Africa. It shares borders with Eritrea to the north, Djibouti to the northeast, the de facto state of Somaliland and Somalia to the east, Kenya to the south, South Sudan to the west and Sudan to the northwest. With over 102 million inhabitants, Ethiopia is the most populated landlocked country in the world and the second most populated nation on the African continent, with a total area of 1,100,000 square kilometers. Its capital and largest city is Addis Ababa. The country is home to landscapes as diverse as deserts, volcanoes and highlands, architecture ranging from raccoon churches to medieval-style castles, and wildlife that include rare species such as the Gelada baboon, the Walia ibex, and the Ethiopian wolf. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Let's take a look at the beautiful country with the 10 things you probably didn't know about Ethiopia. Number 1. Ethiopia is one of the two African countries that was never colonized. During the scramble and colonization of Africa, Ethiopia was never colonized despite Italy's occupation from 1936 to 1941 because that did not result to a lasting colonial administration. In the 1880s, Italy failed to take Abyssinia as Ethiopia was then known as a colony. On the 3rd of October 1935, Mussolini ordered a new invasion. And on the 1st of June 1936, the country was merged with Eritrea and Italian Somalia to form Africa Oriental Italiana. Emperor Hale Selassie made an impassionate appeal for assistance in removing the Italians and re-establishing independence to the League of Nations on the 30th of June 1936. But many League of Nations including Britain and France recognized Italian colonization. It was not until the 5th of May 1941 when Emperor Hale Selassie was restored to the Ethiopian throne that independence was regained. Liberia is said to have never been colonized because it was founded by America and remained an American colony till independence. Number 2. The first African to drive a car came from Ethiopia. Ethiopian Emperor Menelik II was the first native African to drive a car in 1907. Emperor Menelik II was Emperor of Ethiopia from 1889 to 1913. He spoke French, English and Italian fluently and was known for establishing the modern state of Ethiopia and introducing modern technology. Two Englishmen, Better J.F. Bentley and his mechanic, Reginald G. Wells, drove the car from Djibouti to Ethiopia to present it to the Emperor. Bede J.F. Bentley is the son of John Francis Bentley, who designed Westminster Cathedral in London. Emperor Menelik II was presented the car in 1907 and became the first African to drive a car in Africa. Although we're unable to find out why he was given a car, we simply just figured maybe it was because he was an awesome leader. Number 3. Ethiopia was the oldest independent sovereign country in Africa. Many historians agree that Ethiopia is one of the oldest countries in the world. While we know that human life has existed in Ethiopia for millions of years, thanks to skeletal fragments uncovered, it's generally agreed that Ethiopia developed as a country in 980 BCE. This was when one of the first kingdoms, known as DMT, rose to power. Ethiopia is one of the few African countries that never fell into the hands of colonizers, with the exception of when it was occupied for a few years under Italian dictator Mussolini in the 1930s. Number 4. Coffee was discovered in Ethiopia. Ethiopia is the motherland of Coffee Arabica. It is endowed with a rich variety of coffee and its diverse origins. Ethiopian coffee is rich with original flavor and aroma because of its geographical, genotypic and cultural variety within the country. About 1000 years ago, coffee was gothered in Ethiopian southwestern highlands. It was discovered in Kaffa area where it first blossomed and it was given the name coffee. 
It's believed that coffee cultivation and drinking began as early as in the 9th century in Ethiopia. It was cultivated in Yemen around AD 575. It's said to have traveled from Ethiopia to Yemen about 600 years ago, and from Arabia it began its journey around the world. Amongst the many legends, Chaldi, an Abyssinian goatherd who lived around AD 850, found the origin of coffee. Number 5. 70% of all the mountains in Africa are found in Ethiopia. While the highest mountain in Africa may not be located in Ethiopia, Ethiopia actually has the highest number of mountains amongst all African countries. Ethiopian mountains are known for their biodiversity. They also boast of spectacular beauty. The Simeon Mountains National Park, home to Mount Ras Dashen, Mount Ankwa, and Mount Bwahi is a World Heritage Site. Bell Mountains National Park, which hosts Mount Tulu Dimtu, is waiting to be declared a World Heritage Site. Tourists flock the Ethiopian mountains to enjoy the beautiful landscapes and rare animal species. There are so many mountains in Ethiopia, but the highest mountain in the country is Ras Dashen and is estimated to be about 4,550 meters, followed by Mount Ankwa with 4,462. Number 6. Ethiopian calendar has 13 months. Calendars and dates are very commonly used merely to keep track of days or to find out which day of the week a particular day falls on. With the exception of Ethiopia, the world has adopted the Gregorian calendar, a calendar constituting of 365 days in a year and 366 days in a leap year. On the other hand, Ethiopia has accepted the Coptic calendar, which is quite different from the Gregorian calendar. The Coptic calendar has 13 months of which 12 months comprise of 30 days each and the 13th month at the end of the year, called the intercalary month, usually has 5 days and 6 days in a leap year. The Gregorian and Coptic calendar are not the only calendars. There are 5 other types of calendars. These include the Chinese calendar, the Hebrew calendar, Balinese Paukon, the Islamic calendar and the Patient calendar. Coming back to the point, because of the adaptation of the Coptic calendar, the country of Ethiopia celebrates New Year on September 11th. This is because the Ethiopian calendar follows the Coptic calendar which was fixed to the Julian calendar in 25 BC by Emperor Augustus of Rome with a start date of the 29th of August, thus establishing the New Year on the 11th of September. Number 7. Ethiopia is home to the Ark of the Covenant. The Ark of the Covenant is a gold-covered wooden chest with lid cover. The book of Exodus describes it as containing the two stone tablets of the Ten Commandments, Aaron's staff that budded, and a jar of manna. Ethiopians claim that the Ark is found in the St. Mary of Zion Church in Aksum. However, this is a heavily disputed fact about Ethiopia, but a lot of historical events lead to its truth. Only one man, the Guardian, is actually allowed to see the Ark. When he dies, another guardian is chosen to take care of the tabot, what Ethiopians call the Ark. Number 8. First African to win a gold medal at the Olympics. The Olympics are leading international sporting events featuring summer and winter sport competitions in which thousands of athletes from around the world participate in a variety of competitions. Although the ancient games were staged in Olympia, Greece, from 776 BC through 393 AD, it took 1,503 years for the Olympics to return. The first modern Olympics were held in Athens, Greece, in 1896. The man responsible for its rebirth was a fresh man named Baron Pierre de Coubertin, who presented the idea in 1894. Ethiopian distance runner Abebe Bikila was the first native-born African to win a gold medal at the Olympics. Abebe Bikila won the gold in the Olympic marathon in the 1960 and he ran the race barefooted. Number 9. Ethiopia is the only country in Africa that has its own alphabet. I bet this is one fact about Ethiopia that you never knew. No other African country has its own indigenous alphabet that it continues to use. Ethiopia, on the other hand, derives its own alphabet from an ancient form called Gis. Gis is a Semitic language and the written language of the ancient Aksumite Sabian Empire. The alphabet uses an abugida, which consists of 238 symbols and 34 letter variants. Each letter or fido correlates with a syllable of the word. So if you wanted to say water in Amharic, you would say weha. Two Amharic letters make up one word, one for each syllable. 
What makes this so great is that once you have learned the Amharic letters, you can start reading and learning the language. Number 10. It was the first African nation in the League of Nations and founding member of the Organization of African Unity. Another little known fact about Ethiopia is that it was the first African nation admitted into the League of Nations and a founding member of the Organization of African Unity. Emperor Haile Selassie endeavored to position Ethiopia in the forefront of global relations involving the African continent. This was very significant because most countries viewed African countries as inferior and a majority of them did not have independent political or economic representation. As a staunch Pan-Africanist, he strived to unite African countries for the betterment of the African continent. He tirelessly fought for the political decolonization of Africa and won the fight in his lifetime, except apartheid in South Africa. There you have it, explorers. Those were some of the facts you probably didn't know about Ethiopia. For sticking till the end of this video, here's an extra bonus fact for you. Number 11. 152 animals and plants are found only in Ethiopia. Ethiopia has a lot of animals you would normally associate with in East Africa, likely the elephant, giraffe, cheetah, hippo, and zebras. However, one of the amazing facts about Ethiopia is that there are over 152 animals and plants that are only found in Ethiopia. These animals include the Ethiopian wolf, the gilada baboon, and the black-maned lion. In fact, the black lion is the national animal of Ethiopia and was the old flag of Ethiopia. Dear explorers, we hope you learned a thing or two about Ethiopia from this video. Feel free to add more interesting facts about Ethiopia in the comment section below and the best comment will be pinned. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, please leave a comment in the comment section below and we'll do our best to grant your request. And also, do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.